a murderous curse doomed the woman to loneliness. The ghost of a little boy will help stop a series of deaths. You're watching Psychic Investigations. Only true and impressive stories are collected here. People who call themselves psychics take up tangled criminal cases and paranormal phenomena to unearth the truth and save someone's life. In this episode, thanks to their superpowers, the clairvoyants are going to challenge the supernatural forces that are trying to kill Anastasia, a young Ukrainian mother. Let's draw a car, all right? The place where Anastasia lives and works is unique. It's a privately owned zoo where they rehabilitate wild animals. She saves animals from all over Ukraine that, owing to different reasons, found themselves between life and death. Good girl. Well done. What a clever girl. The brave woman has no fear of carnivorous beets. Only one thing scares her the spirit of her late husband, Yuri. Anastasia claims he took the life of her fiancé, who she was going to marry after Yuri died, and he's now hunting her. He loved me madly. He can't let me go even after his death. He used to tell me, I'll always be by your side. Anastasia and Yuri's relationship began in this very zoo. The couple built it almost from scratch. We worked together. He was the manager and I was the administrator. But four years ago, the doctors found a severe disease in Yuri. Pancreonecrosis. They performed pancreatic resection, but it didn't help. When Yuri died, my life was ruined. Only three years after Yuri's death, Anastasia paid attention to her new colleague. Ola. He was an interesting, peculiar man. He became my best friend, and he showed his affection. Eventually, the woman dared for a date with Ole. But at night, late Yuri visited her in a dream. A long table. He's standing in front of it, and I say, Yuri, is it really you? Then I woke up, horrified. But when she opened her eyes, she froze from terror. Yuri's ghost was standing in the middle of the room. I was petrified. He died, I know it. So I screamed and scared the children. And it only got worse over time. Anastasia says the ghost settled in her house, and he now appears day and night. Soon afterward, Ole proposed to Anastasia. She hesitated a lot whether she should accept the proposal, but her children helped her make up her mind. Miroslava told me one day, Mom, we're so used to Uncle Ole. And so I agreed. The day after the engagement ceremony, a tragedy occurred. Ole unexpectedly fell from the steps of the house and hit his head badly. The doctors did tomography. He had a hematoma. He was getting worse and worse and worse. Eventually, Ole died. The woman is convinced that her late husband took him to the other world, and now he's hunting her. I was admitted to the hospital. I had an appendectomy. During the operation, the allergic reaction Anastasia suddenly began in the young woman, and Anastasia's heart stopped. She says she still remembers the feeling of her soul leaving the body while she was being resuscitated. It was horrific. I left my body and saw myself lying there from the outside. I felt strong fear. I panicked. The woman says that then she again saw late Yuri next to her. I tried to move, put my limbs in motion, but I couldn't. Luckily, the doctors succeeded and saved Anastasia. But the poor woman fears that the next time there might be no miracle and her children will be orphans. I can't even imagine them here their mom is gone. I want it all to be over. Please, please help me. Ukraine's most powerful clairvoyants, Jana Shulakova and Rubina Tsibulska, agreed to help Anastasia. Jana, while I was tuning into Anastasia's photo, I saw a woman's spirit next to her. 
a blonde of about 30. She was holding a dead baby in her arms. Who is she? I don't know, she only said. You will only stop the death when you find blood on the flowers. Look, a living woman and a dead woman and the cards of love and a man. Like a love triangle. They might be connected by love for the same man. Who is the mysterious woman with the baby in her arms? What blood on the flowers did she mean? And is Anastasia indeed in grave danger because of the love triangle? An hour later, the clairvoyants arrived at the zoo. The house in which Anastasia and children live is next door. Hello, thank you so much for coming. The cards showed me that Anastasia shouldn't have left the world of the living a long time ago. It's somehow connected with a promise you gave the deceased. Wait. Yes, I feel that you gave an oath to your late husband. You did it right before his death. He was at the intensive care. I tried to calm him down so he could go on living. I told him, I will always be by your side. Anastasia still remembers holding her husband by his hand and crying. A few minutes later, Yuri closed his eyes for good. If Anastasia swore to Yuri to be faithful to him, but then found a new man who she decided to marry again, it's quite probable her late husband's spirit could be seeking revenge on her. Does this mean Anastasia is really doomed because of the vow of love she gave? Then why did the clairvoyance see the woman with the baby in her arms? The only way to understand if it's Yuri who's trying to take Anastasia is to summon his spirit and ask him directly. You must close your eyes and call him. Yuri, please come. I beg you. I need you so much. I see Yuri. He's next to you. I see him pat your head. He's embracing you. I, I saw him. He was smiling. He was kind. The man I used to know was standing next to me. Anastasia, your husband says he misses all of you, especially your youngest son. Most of all, Anastasia regrets that her son, Myron, doesn't remember his father. Yuri died when the boy was only one year old. Yuri, I want to tell you Myron looks like you a lot, in everything. And Miroslava, too. I love you so much. The ghost of the dead man was embracing his wife in front of me. Yuri would never hurt Anastasia, neither in life nor after death. I feel that both your husbands condemned to death by something. Yuri is asking us to save you from the evil force. He's showing me some big fantasy animal. It's like a deer. I feel that Yuri took care of it when he was alive. The moose? The animal saw its strength. Can you show it to me? Of course. What did you see? What? I saw some kind of black crater. It appears suddenly and out of this black void, an otherworldly force emerges. Like it's chasing you. It's hard to believe. But as soon as the clairvoyant began describing the spirit, the animals went insane in the zoo. Growling and howling started in every cage. The animals were trying to tell us who and why is hunting Anastasia. For a long time, the clairvoyants, without a word, approached the animals and worked with them, trying to get information. Meanwhile, it grew dark. I see a woman's ghost over there. The woman with the dead baby in her arms, from my dream. She's calling me to follow her. Quick. She stopped next to that house. 
The clairvoyant points at the house in the territory of the zoo, Anastasia, who lives. She's holding the dead baby, telling it, it's my house. Has a baby ever died in there? No. But then the woman started weeping and mumbling something. I could only make out one phrase, died from the curse. After that, she pointed at Anastasia. This is terrifying. What could Rubina Tsibulska's words mean? Who died from the curse? Why is the woman's ghost pointing at Anastasia? And who on earth is this woman? She's the third in the love triangle between you, Anastasia, and another man, Marina. It turned out that late Yuri, before he met Anastasia, had lived with a woman named Marina. The couple even had a daughter. They lived in the house in which Anastasia lives now. I feel that before meeting you, Yuri broke up with Marina. But she didn't lose the hope he would come back until the very last moment. It's true, yes. I had a conflict with her. It happened here at the zoo. She blamed me for taking Yuri away from her. How did she die? I see some mechanics, an overturned chariot. She fell from a motorcycle. She hit her head hard and immediately fell into a coma. Marina's friend was giving her a lift. The man lost control and crashed into a tree. An ambulance took the woman from the site. The doctor from the emergency care told us she was on the third stage of coma. Nobody said nothing. No predictions or hopes. Marina died, never regaining consciousness. I realized Marina's spirit had a reason to appear while she was alive. You took away the man that she loved from her, so she could be trying to take revenge on you after death. And it could be. I suddenly heard Marina's voice. She said I couldn't take him. He died while I was still in the world of the living. Did Marina die after Yuri? Yes. He died first and she died afterward. She's not the killer. She's got nothing to do with the deaths of the men you loved. It's quite the opposite. Marina's defending you. I was shocked. The woman who hated Anastasia while she was alive is now protecting her. But why? She says, thank you for fighting for my life. Were you around while she was dying? Yes. We took her to a better hospital. I did everything. I didn't want to let her go. Anastasia says she forgot all of their old conflicts and stayed with Marina until the end. It's hard to believe, but the new love of her ex-husband became Marina's only support. Marina says she's protecting you from the other world because you're taking care of her daughter. I'm raising her daughter. Marina had no relatives, so Anastasia arranged the funeral. After it, she immediately adopted the other Marina's daughter. Anastasia says that legally she had no rights to the girl, but she did everything so little Miroslava could stay with her. After Marina died, I asked her a question. Miroslava, who do you want to live with? And she said, with you. I've always had the feeling she's my daughter. It's hard for Marina's spirit to stay in our world. She must go, but before she does it, she wants to embrace you. Like this, tightly. Thank you, Marina. When I embraced Anastasia, I had a vision. Anastasia and an adult. Dark-haired woman next to her. She was shouting something in the language I couldn't understand. And all of it was happening in a small house. Can I work in your house? The cards show me that you received a death letter. It's connected with a dead little boy. Yes, he was my first son, Ilya. He would have been 18 by now. Anastasia gave birth to her first son when she was only 19. But the baby boy only lived for half a year. The doctors diagnosed him with meningitis, an inflammation of the brain, and the boy died. The doctor on duty came out and said, Danone, I'm sorry, but your son is dead. My whole world collapsed. He was so little and so cute. The boy wasn't Yuri's son. Who was your son's father? Yes, he was my first love and his name was Gamzat and he was Dagestani. I met him as a first year student. It was love at first sight. But they couldn't be together. 
Anastasia was unwelcome in the strict Dagestani family. I see a woman yelling curses and she doesn't want the baby, neither from you nor from your relation. Gamzat's mother disapproved of our relationship because he was a Muslim while I'm a Christina. She told Gamzat directly that he was supposed to marry a woman of their faith. When did Gamzat introduce you to his mother? When I was seven months pregnant. I told her I loved him and he loved me. She cursed us, me and my unborn baby. A mother's curse is a powerful thing and it's hard to get rid of it. While the consequences can be unexpected, but nobody had a clue of how the curse exactly worked. Anastasia says that she and Gamzat decided to marry anyway, which they eventually did. The cards show me that the boy got sick after all those curses. Yes. The baby was the glue that held you together. The baby gets ill and dies and people break up. Had Ilya survived, we would have never broken up. After they buried their son, Anastasia couldn't stay with her husband. The awful pain of the loss became stronger than the love. Anastasia says that she simply couldn't look at her husband, who had the same eyes as their dead sons. Whenever I looked at him, I saw my son and cried. I realized I couldn't speak to that man anymore. The curse was probably the reason both your son and your husband died. And now, it's threatening your life. I need to see your son's grave. I need to work there. Hello, son. Hello, my dear baby. This is your mom. I decided to summon the boy's spirit to ask him about the curse. Your mom has come to visit you, dear. Anastasia, you still remember every moment spent with your son? He babbled so cutely. I wanted to hear his laughter, tears and joy. But I only saw the pain. His death was terrible, and I couldn't do anything. I cried every night. I wept and howled as a wolf howls at the moon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anastasia, your son says it's not your fault. He heard your every word. I always wanted to talk to him like this and you gave me the chance to do it finally. Then the spirit pointed at Anastasia's arm. Let me see. Do you see the picture? This is a Sakura. These blossoms, there was blood on them. I see the blood flowing down the blossoms. I cut them. Oh dear God. Anastasia, why did you do it? I was thinking about Ilya and decided I'd be with him. You promised your dead son you'd see him soon, right? Yes. It's connected with a promise you gave to a dead person. Anastasia says she remembers almost nothing about the incident. When she regained consciousness, she was at the hospital, and later, she was told her neighbor had saved her when she dropped by and saw Anastasia in the puddle of blood. The blood was flowing, but not much time had passed. When you have nobody to support you and you try to deal with your problems all alone, it's hard. It's incredibly hard. You must share it with somebody and ask them for help. If you ask for help, you will have it. The curse was intended to bring loneliness and death. This is why Anastasia's both husbands died. And the boy got sick because at the moment the curse was applied, he was in his mother's womb. The clairvoyants carry out the ritual to lift the curse of Anastasia's first husband's mother. It was the reason the woman was doomed to stay alone and eventually die. The psychics are confident Anastasia is alive because she's done many good things to other people. And this is what's holding her in our world, as well as the children, for whom she's assumed the whole responsibility. Don't worry about your son, he's in the heaven together with Marina, Yuri's first wife. She takes care of your son, just as you take care of her daughter. Thank you.
Dear God, thank you for this. I even see her take him in her arms and he tenderly hugs her like I hug Miroslava. Thank you so much for helping me. It's amazing how a mother's curse can cause terrible things. Parents always wish good for their children. They should never forget, however, that the best future for their children is the one they decide for themselves. If you're impressed by the story, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. The most intriguing stories are still to come.